I was hesitant of using two different apps to avoid the situation, and where does this go? And I also didn't want to copy and paste in any information from one app to the other, because in this channel we are too productive for that. But boy, I was wrong. Now I have been using Notion and Roam for a bit more than four months, and I can openly say that I haven't even had one overlap between both apps, no one copy and pasting. So if you've been looking for some way to make these two apps work, or you're simply a productivity warrior, which I respect, this video is for you. Okay, so first of all, these two tools, Roam Research and Notion, what are them? Roam Research is a text-based note-taking app for interconnected thinking and with no hierarchy, which means that there is no file structure whatsoever. And it's got two main features. The first one is bi-directional linking. This means that simply by adding two square brackets around a word or a sentence, we can start aggregating all the mentions that that newly created page has and serve as a hub of information around that topic. And the second feature is a very useful sidebar that will allow us to open different notes or even the mentions of these notes on the sidebar. So let's say that we are working on a project and we want to retrieve information about productivity. So we can have on the right everything that we have mentioned about productivity within our ROM to use it in our essay. And now what is Notion? Notion is the all-in-one productivity app centered around pages and databases. It is much more structured than ROM as we will have in any file system in Windows or Mac. And the real power of this app are on the databases, which are tables that can be accessed from everywhere within our Notion and display different kinds of data in different ways depending on the context. Of course, we can use filters, we can use formulas, and really with them, the opportunities are endless. Okay, so now let's set the things that I want to manage with these two productivity apps. And then I'm going to explain you which app am I using for what and why. First is going to be the content, and I'm gonna separate this in two in the processing and creating. And within processing, I'm gonna have my books, blogs, podcasts, courses, ideas. And within creating, it's gonna be my newsletter, my blog, my journal, Twitter, and YouTube. Then away from the content, my project management, my CRM or how I manage my relationships, my business hub, where I will have all my finances, my sales, my coaching clients and the courses that I'm developing, and my life management, which will have my groceries, my gym tracker, my trip planning, and everything related to my personal life. Okay, so with this in mind, let's see what goes where. So first of all, let's start with the content processing. I'm gonna be using Rome for all of this. And why am I doing this? Because in Rome, it is so much easier that in case that, for example, a paragraph can be related to two or more topics, simply by tagging them with all those different topics, that paragraph is going to appear in each of the pages for each of the topics. This will be impossible in Notion, since in Notion, the data just lives in one place, or we will have to copy and paste. And secondly, because it offers low to no friction to just get ideas out of my head and writing them down using the daily pages within ROM. And if I want this idea to be resurfaced in any other topic, I will just have to tag it to the topic. And what is good about committing to one tool for my content processing is that I don't really have to think where to go whenever I have a new idea or a new piece of content that I want to write down. I always go to ROM. Now let's go back to content creation. Well, as my content processing is done in ROM, it kind of makes sense that my content creation is also done in ROM. Because like this, we will be able to use all those links of ideas that we have created in ROM in order to reuse content or to discover new ideas that we can use for our content creation. Now, in the case of my newsletter, it is very easy to enter new topic ideas, as you can see, and it helps a ton to have the sidebar whenever I'm writing my newsletter issues with all the different ideas that I may use in the issue. When it came to journaling, I was a little bit divided because before I was using Notion for journaling, but I was just never able to make that stick. But since I'm using ROM, I'm journaling every day. And why is this? Because of one particular feature within ROM, which is the ability to focus within one block. So what I'm gonna do is within my morning pages link, I'm going to focus, which means that I'm gonna remove any distraction from the screen and I'm just gonna write. And this makes the experience so much pleasant that in Notion where I have multiple things around because I cannot really hide them. Then I have also decided to use ROM for my Twitter because whenever I have an idea for a tweet or for a thread and I don't have time to type it right away, I will just go to ROM and just by tagging it with this tag, I will be able to then go back to my Twitter page and see everything that I have penned into tweet. It is so frictionless. And in Notion, I would have had to find the page and write the tweet there instead of first writing the tweet and then finding where to put it. 
So, so far you can see that the content that I'm creating in Rome doesn't need much of a workflow. It is just ideas, content creation. There is no multiple steps to their creation. And this is why I have decided to separate YouTube and to use Notion for my YouTube channel. Because each video passes through a lot of more steps. And I have found that Notion for complex workflows works so much better. Then since I'm working with an editor, working in Notion makes it so much easier because the multiplayer in Notion is 100 times better than in Rome. Plus, Notion has an API that is going to allow me to automate some of the steps of our workflows. Next one is my project management. I know some people that use Rome for this, but okay, hear me out. Kanban boards for processing tasks. Timeline view to see the big picture of a project. Calendar views for planning. All kinds of formulas for creating workflows using filters. We cannot do that in Rome at all. And if we really value these features, <laughs> Notion is the king. So of course, I'm choosing Notion for my project management. Now my CRM or my client relationship management, this was a tricky one because it is true that it's very easy to track all the conversations that we have with people within Rome, we would just have to tag the name of the person and whatever we write is going to appear in that person's page. But what I wanted also was to get reminded of when I need to contact this person again in order to follow up. And since part of what I do is freelancing, by following up with clients, I may win some extra deals. So I was able to do that automatically in Notion, but in Rome, it was impossible. So I decided to use Notion for this. So now my business management. For my finances, of course, I need to make some calculations to know at the end of the month how much I've earned, how much I spent, and all of this. For my sales, I need to connect my PayPal, my Stripe, etc., with the app that I'm going to use to automate each sale creation process. Managing coaching clients is not a very hard task. So this basically could have been in any of the apps. And then managing the online courses that I create, it's a beast of itself. We have the curriculum, the students, the office hours, the SOPs, the marketing, the advertising, like it is too complex. And my online courses are quite complex to manage. I have decided to use Notion for all of them. And life management. Long story short, I also use Notion for this. Why? Because for example, for my habit tracking, I want to calculate the averages of my habits. For my groceries, I want to calculate automatically my grocery list. For my gym tracker, I want to know when was the last time that I did each exercise. And for my trip planning, I want to have an automated list of items that I need to bring on a trip. So as you can see, there is a lot of automations there and this would just be possible with Notion. So if you have been following patterns in everything that I've been saying, you may have realized that everything that is content related with not very difficult workflows goes to Rome because for me, Rome is king when it comes to knowledge management. The only thing that I have left out from Rome in terms of content creation is YouTube, which has much more complex workflows. But all the planning, the execution, the automations with other apps and more complex workflows are all in Notion. And what is best is that both are completely isolated nothing from my ROM ever goes to my Notion because again, ROM is just content and I process it there and I create it there. So they are two totally separated entities, which is what I was fearful of not being able to achieve when I started. But if after watching this video, this seemed a little bit complicated for you, if I were to choose just one tool, I would totally choose Notion because what we will be really losing from Rome will be all the backlinks, the sidebar, and all this idea interconnectivity. But we can still manage our knowledge in Notion. It will be just a little bit less powerful. But if we want to really, really trim down the number of apps that we are using, I would just use Notion. If you like this video, I am sure that you will also like this one, in which I explain which is the mindset behind every system that I create. So that is it for the video, and as always, hasta la próxima.